generally, how do you grade a night like this? I don't know if you shot better from three, obviously not this season, but maybe even in the last season. I know also you gave up some, some easy looks around the rim in the first half. Just kind of what's the good, what's the bad one tonight? Well, um, an emphasis this game was um, our spacing. Our spacing wasn't very consistent last game, um, and our break wasn't very consistent either. So those two things definitely helped us tonight. Nick has the, the finger. I think the crowd had a, an up close look at that on the scoreboard. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. High pain tolerance? I, I don't know. The trainers did a good job fixing it. Was it just? I mean, was it just a just a little dislocation that just popped it back in? Boo boo. Yeah, just was like what he said. <laughs> Next question, Andy. You guys had 33 points off of turnovers, and obviously we know that Coach loves you know, the deflection stat. Um, how do you guys have instilled that culture of deflections and keep those active hands and feet on defense? Yeah, I feel like, you know, more this year we're probably on, you know, picking up full, getting into the ball more. Because I guess a team like this, when they have such a great post player, uh, like they did with uh, Chris Horton, you know, we need to put on the ball pressure so it can be hard for him to get it inside uh, for him to score on us. So uh, we're probably on now with, you know, getting basically a stick hand, getting into the ball, having our hands wide, stretching our hands out, stretching our fingers out, and trying to get steals and trying to get points off turnovers. Does having Thomas and Max up, you guys be more aggressive and, you know, on ball defense compared to last year maybe? Yeah, I'd say so because Thomas is a great rim protector for us. So we know if you know our guy beats us to the rim, we know he can step up and block shots for us. Were you guys aware that you had made 15 shots in a row and over a 12-minute span in the second half? No, I don't. I'm sure nobody, nobody was aware. But uh, yeah. I was just a product of our work that we do every day with uh, how we shoot. Mike, I think it was 20 turnovers. How do you diagnose that? Is that just a product of maybe trying to do too much? Um, yeah, you know, a little carelessness um, and not making the right read. Sometimes, you know, taking one too many dribbles um, instead of making a simple play and pass. But, um, you know, we'll work on that in the next few days. Definitely, that's a way too high of a number. Pete? Can both of you guys address the, I don't know, fascination is the word that the crowd has for uh, Tim Curler? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know why they love Tim so much. They just do. And uh, Nick showed me this about how they have in the paper about the uh, all-time greats of IU. You know, they got Isaiah the Thomas, Calvert Chaney, uh, you know, guys like that. And then there's Tim Friller, you know. <laughs> you wouldn't expect to see him, but he was there. And, uh, you know, for the crowd to get hyped for Tim like that, uh, you know, Tim loves it. You know, he's not going to, you know, let it get to his head. He's still going to do everything that we need to do for our team. But, you know, that's just something fun to watch. Go ahead. And, and this is a more serious question. And, and Yogi, you, you, you're now, I think, 20th in the playing career scoring. It's just, I know you do more than scoring, but just how satisfying is that that, that you've had that type of approach? Um, didn't know that. But, yeah, uh, that's just what we do every day in the gym working. Um, you know, I'm going to take the open opportunity for my team and what we need at that exact moment for our team. Um, you know, Coach Green's definitely helped me. Uh, and Coach Buck definitely helped me with definitely my shooting, uh, my shooting technique, you know, releasing my shot. So, you know, I'm just going to, you know, trust, trust the mechanics, you know, trust the progress. Yeah. Yogi, I think, I think you got like 15 assists the first two games. Is that a product of anything in particular that you're looking for? Well, you know, first thing I'm going to do is try and create for my team because I feel like, you know, the defense has to give something up, you know, and, and they're always going to give something up each game. It's going to be different each game. So, you know, I'm going to start off the game trying to definitely facilitate to my guys, you know, like Nick, Thomas, because, you know, I know they're going to be, I know we're basically, basically everybody's going to be on the court um, where they love to shoot, where they're going to be, especially transition. So. Um, I'm going to go out there and try and look for my guys. Alex? How much do you guys still find yourself adjusting to the, the, the rules changes and you know, what you can and can't do as opposed to previous years? I mean, that's happening every day in practice and in the games. We're working on it. Um, you know, it's being called pretty tight. I'm a little more tight uh, on Friday night than it was tonight. But, um, you know, we're working on our stick hand, like he mentioned beforehand. Um, and uh, just keep our hands free from uh, from cutters and, and 
drivers and in the post as well. Is that? I guess overall, how, how do you diagnose the defensive performance tonight? I think they had, they had 40 points in the paint, same as you guys, but you outscored them points off turnovers, and it felt like maybe as many points as they were getting in the paint, a lot of their turnovers also came when they drove inside and, and that fed your offense in transition. Is it almost something where sometimes you, you <coughs> accept them getting there if it means you can make some of those plays and get the break going faster? Well, no, I wouldn't say so. We're not going to accept them getting into the post uh, so easily like that. You know, we definitely don't want to have the same amount of points matched up with them. Um, but, I mean, if, if that happens, then we just got to find a way for them not to score. You know, there's always just finding a way for them not to score, and that's basically all it is to it. Dick? You'll get to be talking about your points and your assists. Uh, also tied as leading rebounder this evening. Uh, what, just your thoughts on uh, uh, tying there and uh, getting those boards? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm trying to definitely get in the mix with the rebounds now this year. Uh, last, you know, three years, did a lot of standing around. Um, you know, I used to go to the defense, but now, you know, I'm definitely going into the offense trying to get those rebounds too because that's just extra points on the board for us, for myself, and for our team. Thank you, guys. The 14 steals is the most 